Mark and Sarah Stampin' Tree. Today I thought that we would use this Inky Bouquet stamp from Altenew and we're going to create a shiny card with a black base using this. And this is actually the card I'm creating for the Altenew Let It Shine class that I'm doing for my ACEP course. So I'll link the class below. But I just thought I'd have lots of fun with shiny things today. So to start with I've got a 5 inch by 5 inch square black card blank. I've got a piece of gold foil sheet that is 4.5 inches square. A piece of black cardstock that is 4.25 inches square. And then I've got this spare piece of black cardstock as well. So I'm just going to heat emboss this large floral. Um, so I'm going to use my Versamark ink to ink it up. And it's quite a large stamp, so I'm just trying to make sure that that's all over here. And then I'm just going to use my Altenew Gold Embossing Powder. This one's called Antique Gold. Just to emboss that. And that's how you can tell really nice quality of embossing powder is when you get that nice, really fine finish. So you can get some embossing powders where the grains are quite coarse and then you don't get as nice a finish for these kind of fine type of images. And I'm just going to heat that up with my heat tool off camera because I'm using all the plugs in here today. So then I'm just going to heat up this embossing powder. And then to add even more shine, I'm going to use my glitter jelly roll pens to colour it. So I'm going to use this pink one first for this flower down here. And I've chosen the glitter ones because I don't want any kind of full on colour, I just want a hint of colour. If I'd have used like the metallics, then they would have shown up better. But I want this more glittery look rather than a kind of like full on colour look. And then I'm going to use this pale blue on these flowers here. And then I'm going to use the red for the rose. And then I'm going to use these two greens for the leaves. So I hope you can see that on the screen. It's really, really shiny and glittery. So now I'm going to use my coordinating inky bouquet die. So I'll take that down and run it through my die cutting machine. So there's my super shiny die cut piece. So then for the sentiment, I'm going to use my hot foil machine. And you could totally just heat emboss a happy birthday or whatever sentiment you want to use. It's just I've been desperate to use my hot foil machine again. So I'm just going to use this happy birthday from the stylish script thank you and happy birthday. So I've popped that on there. I've already heated up my um, plates. So then I'm just going to use some of this which is the matte gold foil and pop it on here. And then I'm just going to take this out and then I'm going to pop on some black cardstock and then I'm going to put on my cardstock shim and my plate. If you saw my unboxing video for this machine then you'll know this is just what works for my machine. I'll link to the unboxing video below so you can learn more if you want to learn more about this sandwich. And then I'm going to cut around my filled sentiment as well. And like I said earlier, if you don't have a foiling machine, then you can always just heat emboss using the gold embossing powder with whatever sentiments you have on hand. The foiling is fun, and I love the kind of slightly letterpress look that you get with it. So then let's pop the layers together. And then I'm going to use some fine tape for this layer. And 
And then pop this up on dimensionals too, I'll use some more foam tin. And then I'm going to pop this up on foam tape in this bottom corner here. And then I've got some of these gold gems. I've got the two sizes. And then I'm going to dot a bit of glue around. I'm going to use my pickup tool just to add some gems in. So then here's my finished card. I hope that you can see all that shine on the screen. We've got the foil, the foil cardstock, we've got the um, gems, we've got the glitter um, colouring as well. The heat embossing that is full of sparkle. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's project. If you have, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new YouTube video available. All of the products that I've used today are linked in the description below. And there's also a picture product list over on my blog which might make it easier to find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.